Welcome to Emilac Online Tutorial. Now before us uh, is still partial differentiation. But today we'll be looking at this uh, topic called the small increment. Okay. Now, how do we get uh, you know a small increment in the volume of uh, of a cylinder? Okay. All right. Now let us start. Now let us recall that the volume of a cylinder is given as this. Okay, now first of all, let us find the partial derivative of V with respect to these two variables, which is the R and the H, the radius and the height. So the partial derivative of V with respect to R will give us 2 pi R H. Yeah, that means you are differentiating V with respect to R while keeping h constant and that's why we're having this now the partial derivative of v with respect to h which implies that we differentiate v with respect to h keeping r constant so therefore we have pi r squared okay okay now but take note the goal is to find the small increase in the volume of a cylinder all right now how then then do we go about this now now that we've gotten the partial derivative of v with respect to r and v with respect to h now let us now assume that uh, there is a small increase in r so which means our new r will now become r plus a small increase in r now take note of this sign and this sign this is a small change or small increase and this is what the partial derivative sign. Then for our h also will give us h plus a small increase in h. Okay, and take note that when there is a corresponding increase in h and r, definitely our v will definitely increase. So it also implies that our v will then become v plus small increase in v. Okay, now let us now introduce the small increment in this variable or uh, of this variable rather into this equation so it implies here that our equation here will then become the v plus small change in v equals uh, pi then r plus small change in r all squared then into h plus small increase in h okay and by using expansion here, we add a v plus change in v equals pi, then into r squared, then plus, most likely you have a 2r change in r, then plus, uh, let me use this, okay, then into bracket h plus change in h, okay. Now, when we expand R plus change in R, then we have the whole of this. Okay, now let us take note that, okay, if I have to open this bracket, okay, let us multiply this bracket and this bracket here. We add a V plus change in V here, we give us pi, then into R squared H, that is when R squared multiplied by H, and R squared multiplied where we have a r squared then change in h then next we have this multiplied by the whole of the bracket here then we have a 2 r h okay let me use it like this 2 r change in r then h then plus 2 r change in r then change in a uh, uh, h or increase in h rather then here we have r squared h then plus uh, okay there we have it all right so now the next thing now take note our goal is to find the small increase in volume Alright, now what we need to do now is to subtract 
uh, v from both sides and take note that v is actually pi r uh, pi r square h okay so if we have to subtract v from here it also implies that we also subtract, uh, subtract v from the, re uh, the right hand side and take note that v is also pi r square h okay and um, by that okay let us let me quickly open the bracket v plus pi v then equals uh, so there you have it okay now let us now subtract v from both sides now if you subtract v from here that will be subtract v now the same thing you have to subtract v on the right hand side and you know that v equals pi r square h also we have subtract minus by r square h so at the end of the day we end up having now v minus v will give us zero and pi r square h minus pi r square h will also give us zero so you end up having an increase in v then which it gives you from here to this end so here we have by r square increase in h plus 2 pi r increase in r h then plus uh, 2 pi r increase in r increase in h then plus pi then increase in r all squared h then plus pi increase in r squared increase in h okay all right so now that we've find, uh, gotten this now let us also take note that to this end let us probably rearrange then you have uh, now 2 pi r change in r h okay then uh, put on again plus uh, okay let me say pi r square change in h okay then now here let us take note this 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 now are very small compared to these variables here now because they are very small compared to these variables then it it implies that we can neglect them okay so by neglecting them so we end up uh, having these two terms pi r square i mean pi 2 pi r changing r h plus r pi r square increase in h so here we have then 2 pi r h changing r then plus by r square changing h and if we take a look at this that by r square h is the partial derivative of the volume to radius and by r squared is the uh, partial derivative of v with respect to h now if we have to replace by r square h for the partial derivative of v to r and pi r square with uh, the partial derivative of v to h so therefore we have then here we have uh, the r then plus here we have uh, Okay, so here we go. Now, this is the small increase of the volume with respect to R and I mean the radius and the height. All right, if you love what I've just done, can you subscribe to my YouTube channel and ensure you, you click on the notification button to be notified of all my videos in physics and mathematics. Thank you and God bless you.